Hey guys, Milwaukee came out with a new M12 radio in charger. And if you're looking at a lot of reviews over the internet, make sure someone has spent a lot of time with this radio because I fear that first impressions of this could be a little bit negative, but this radio is pretty cool. Stay tuned. Milwaukee's new M12 radio in charger is model number 2951-20. And when I pulled it out of the box for the first time, I thought, man, this is just a little bit larger Bluetooth speaker that has an AM FM radio and can charge a battery. That's cool, right? It's not too heavy, has a lot of hanging places in the back and places to use it, a little antenna that folds away very nice. But the sound quality that came out initially of what I listened to was good, but not very loud. And that's what kind of made me take a couple steps back and say, wait a minute. And I got to spend all of July 4th weekend with this radio and I learned that maybe sitting in front of it really close in a smaller room and it didn't like make my ears hurt with noise wasn't exactly what this speaker was capable of. And while it's not gonna just completely rock you out in a small setting, it does completely fill up large areas, even outdoor areas like around a pool with way more sound than what you'd want and could actually be loud enough to completely disturb the neighbors. And with that said, I didn't adjust any of the bass and treble settings. So what I want to do is bring you guys in, take a look at this radio, show you what it'll do, because for me in an Android setting, it has some cool things and I'm sure it will work the same in the iPhone world. So let's come in and take a little bit more of a look. So when we spin this radio around, we don't see anything super out of the ordinary. Inside here, we can see that we have a two point three amp input, 14 volts, which is gonna come off this AC adapter. We have a 2.1 amp USB output, a one amp charger for a 12 volt battery, and basically just a few other informational items on the AM and FM. When we turn this guy on, which it is now, you'll be able to see the LED screen light up a little bit brighter, but that will dim automatically. So you just have to push a button and it will turn up and down. Now, what I can do here is show you on my phone, which this happens on almost every iPod or Apple phone. When you turn the volume up, it turns the, oops, turns the volume up and down on the phone. On my Android devices prior, you used to have to turn the volume all the way up and then you could adjust the volume on the speaker, but you never got full volume out of the speaker if that wasn't up, la da, da da This one works just like an Apple would. If I wanted to switch the music forward, I can also do so, no issue. I don't wanna play this stuff because it will trigger a copyright issue. So I will play some music for you, but I wanna go through some things. If we wanted to change the bass and treble, we hold the AM FM button, and then we can adjust up the treble and adjust down the base. Just push the AM FM again and we can adjust it up or down. I'm going to leave this fairly neutral right now. Then to get back we can simply push the AM FM button again. Clock is here. There is two batteries down here that will keep this clock working. As far as hanging there is a slot here. I, I'm unsure completely what that slot is but I assume it might be for hanging something. You can run a wire through here, you can have a screw hanging here. Anything really works. AM, FM antenna out of the way, very nice. If we were to go over to the AM and FM. So has serious injuries. Robbins was uninjured. Turn this down and then plug it in. We do not get any interference County, from plugging it in, which is nice. From the flood of May 19th, relief and long-term recovery are the second parts of the... You'll notice here, it'll tell you that it's charging. It'll turn green once it's fully charged on the other side. You do have presets, so you can go through a ton of different presets. The radio actually does pull in fairly decent. We are inside and normally this is kind of a tough place 
to get reception. So we're getting very good reception out of this unit. The back here is where we are plugging our input in to charge, or we have a USB that will charge our phone. This will not run music into this speaker or radio. The only way to get music from your phone in currently is going to be Bluetooth or you're going to be AM and FM. As far as what batteries fit, that was a 3 amp hour. This is a 4 amp hour, 6 amp hour is the same. You still have room underneath. It is a cool speaker, so let's get into showing you a little bit more of the music side and what it sounds like. So that was a lot of loud music that's coming from this little speaker. I have no clue how that's going to sound over your computer, your headphones, or even through this microphone. All I can tell you is that if you do not adjust the bass and treble, and that you do it by holding the AM FM button, no matter what mode you're in, if you do not adjust it, you can run it on level 15 on the radio or even on your phone without distortion. And you get some pretty good sound. You get a fair amount of bass from this unit, which is nice. I've not seen that on a lot of other Milwaukee radios. If you adjust the bass up, as you probably could hear in some other sections of the prior music, there are certain songs that will start to distort slightly. So if you're listening to it at a lower volume and you wanted a little bit more bass for some sound quality, perfectly fine. If you're gonna crank it up and crank the bass, you'll get a little bit of distortion. If you're listening to talk radio or sports on the job site, this thing with the EQ set straight across the board, perfect, no distortion, no issues, even all the way up. If you were working on a second story roof and wanted to listen to talk radio or anything or even normal radio and this was on the ground all the way up, still hear it up there without issue. You could probably even be running a nail gun. This is gotcha. That's pretty surprising because when I look at some of the larger 18 volt or even 20 volt models that are out there, that's pushing the sound volume that you can get. So, there's no doubt Milwaukee put some effort into getting the sound out of this, but yet still keeping it to the realm that most people are gonna use it and not overly distort or blow out the speakers on the inside. When you're picking this guy up for the first time or in the box, it is surprisingly heavy for what you're getting, uh, but it is not overly heavy. Uh, it, I was just kind of the first impressions when I picked it up is, while this box is heavier than what I thought it would be. And that's probably because there's a charger and everything else in there, add a four or six amp hour battery, and you have a pretty good amount of weight. Nothing that is not gonna hang easily or anything like that, just you can tell there's something to it. I like that. 
Radios are so hard to go over on YouTube because I can't get you the sound. I can't get you uh, the music that you would listen to. I can't get a lot of different things in there. Uh, but you just have to trust me on this one. This is good. This is one of the better Milwaukee speakers that I've seen. The only downside that I see to it is the M12 system. And I really wish I could just have a M18 that would slide in here also. So I could either choose to charge with the M18 or the M12. That would be completely rocking because this is kind of like the mini version of their large M18 charger. I don't use radios to charge my M12 batteries, but I'm sure there's a lot of guys out there that do. But what I do like is that I can plug it in or use a battery or just throw a battery in it and continue to charge it when I want to and take it away when I don't. So now it's portable. I'm very interested in finding a cigarette lighter adapter that is the 14 volts that could go in here because I think that would be amazing. You're out on the boat or anything like that, but you have a battery, but then you could charge while you're in a remote location, right? So that would be incredibly cool, but it didn't come with one. I'm sure they're easy to find. Overall, I think this is a great radio. I do not know the price on it yet. I'll try to put some links in the description. I spent the weekend with it. I got to know it. Uh, like I said, first impressions, I was kind of like, Ugh. but after I got to know the radio, got to use it quite a bit outside, I really found it to be a nice, good sounding radio. So if you're looking for that, this is definitely worth it. I mean, if you look at the size, there's my cell phone. It's not that big. It's pretty easy to carry around. It's been on the beach. It's been in a lot of different areas. It is, I believe, IP54 rated, so it can take water. I have not tried to sink this guy in water yet, uh, but I don't think most people are going to just throw this in a bucket of water or have that issue, especially since it's a charger also. You're gonna kind of take care of those electronics as you don't want them to mess with your batteries or anything else. Cool radio, leave me some comments. I wanna know how you feel about the M12 versus M18 thing. Would you rather have a small radio like this that could charge M18 batteries also, or just an M18 charger radio that's this size? Super curious as always. Thank you for your time. Give us a like if you would, subscribe to the channel, and as always, we appreciate your time. Have a great day.